Winters in Canada can be absolutely breathtaking. And on a nice day, there's nothing better than playing in the snow, and not much can beat a white Christmas. But winters in Canada can also be really long. So by the time January rolls around, I'm a summer girl and I'm definitely ready for the nice weather. Fun fact about Canadians, in the fall, when it starts to get cooler, we will transition from our shorts and our t-shirts right to our coats and we're complaining about how cold it is. But same exact temperature in the spring, as soon as that snow melts, we will be out in our sandals, our shorts, and our t-shirts. It's been a year of COVID lockdown and so I think this spring it was more than ever so exciting to finally see nice weather longer days the spring buds flowers coming out but when you have a farm it also means work to get done so it is the end of march we finally have spring weather and so the first thing that we've got to do is get the hay fields reseeded um, fertilized so scott shows up with another piece of machinery because he needs it. So he's playing with his, his toy now. Everyone loves spring. It's a time of new life and fresh beginnings. Even the animals love spring. But with spring comes rain and with rain comes puddles. And while it's cute when some baby animals play in puddles, it's not so cute when horses play in puddles. And after a long winter, there is nothing that our horses love more than finding that first patch of dirt and getting as covered in it as they possibly can. If you ask any person who either owns horses or works with horses, and you mentioned spring, you're probably going to get a lot of groaning and eye rolling. Horses, like many animals, grow a thick coat of hair to help keep them warm throughout the winter. But that means come the spring, that hair's gotta go somewhere. So <laughs> you can brush and brush all day long, every day, and it seems like there is just an endless amount of hair. Hair is everywhere. It ends up hey, all over your clothes. It ends up all in your car, all over your house. It's everywhere. And while you're knee deep in hair, the thought of how beautiful they are gonna be once they are finished shedding out and all of that hair is gone, a flowing mane, gorgeous coat. <laughs> but the reality is, the second that they are clean, they're looking for more dirt. A lot of people don't realize that horses actually love to roll in the dirt. I mean, love it. The dirtier they can get, the better. And if there is mud puddles, that's even better. While they do it for fun, there is also a reason behind it. It actually helps protect them from flies and biting insects. However, there's no flies right now and our horses are covered in mud and dirt. They just love rolling in it for the pure joy of getting as dirty as they possibly can. And Duke is our worst offender by far. He has certain spots in the paddock that he especially likes to go scratch up the grass and get all of the dirt exposed so he can roll in it. And even better is when he's just had a bath because then he can really get that dirt to stick all over. And it is like cement to come off. He is an absolute mess, but he is as happy as can be. I'm very proud of himself. Owning a horse definitely takes a lot of hard work and dedication and one of the things that you really need to commit to doing is making sure that you're brushing your horse on a daily, if not almost daily basis. Like I brush, when I brush him, I almost make it look worse. <laughs> 
grooming your horse is a multi-stage process. So there is gonna be the curry comb at first, that's just to help get a lot of that mud and dirt loosened, any sweaty hair, dead skin cells, get all of that loosened up. Then you're gonna to move to a hard bristled body brush and that is gonna help get everything that you've loosened off of your horse's body. The next step is going to be a soft bristled body brush. This is gonna be good for any of those more sensitive areas and getting fine particles off. It also helps give a nice sheen to your horse's coat. There is also the mane and tail that needs to be brushed. So that has its own brush. You always wanna make sure you're starting from the bottom and working your way up to the top. You don't need to do the tail all the time, um, just as it's getting tangled. You don't wanna pull more hair out than is necessary. You want a nice, long, flowing tail. And then you've got the hooves. Always want to be making sure you're checking your horse's feet. Make sure there's nothing lodged in there, any stones, shavings, mud. That could hurt them, cause lameness issues. Lastly is just that shedding blade, which is a go-to for us during shedding season. It gets all that hair out. And for Duke, it also <laughs> helps get some of that caked on mud out of his coat. Rolling in the puddle today of mud. <laughs> oh, God. Disgusting. Mommy. Oh, Mommy. geez. Look at this. Oh, oh no, dear. Buddy. I don't care if you roll, but try not to eat. Oh. He's like, I did that just for you. <laughs> but when they're this cute, how can you stay mad at them? So as much as we hate all the mud and hair, anyone who works with horses can tell you that it's definitely worth it just to be able to have these amazing animals in our lives. If you want to see Duke and some of our other new additions to the farm, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Barn Boots and Country Roots. Oh, don't roll in the pee right in it.